so great. You talked about this one page plan that you've used for years with the 50 some business that you're involved in. Just describe that for us. Yeah, it's a, it's a pretty simple process really, Bernie. It's just coming back and saying, what are the couple, two or three levers that you pull to really drive your business results? And then putting them in a plan. And I found that if you put a plan on one page, the whole organization can remember it. So I have four cornerstones to that, a market plan, a financial plan, a product plan, and a people plan. And I try and take each one of those and put a, a name that people can remember, like at Continental we use Fly to Win for our market plan, Fund the Future for our uh, financial plan, Make Reliability a Reality for our, our uh, product plan, and Working Together for our people plan. And then underneath that, drop in the few things that you want people to focus on that year. And I found that if you do that, you actually can accomplish what you want to accomplish. It's, it solidifies the organization. And the key question is, everyone in the whole organization ought to be able to repeat that plan. And if you come back and reinforce it every week in a voicemail to employees or your coworkers, and, and how are you doing on it? Are we making progress where we want to make progress? Here's, uh, here's where we're at. It makes a big difference. And you almost mentioned, too, that um, you almost get sick of doing it. You have to go to the point yeah, where you're no, sick there's of doing it. Yeah, no, there's but. times when you just get really tired of talking about it, right? You think maybe I ought to write a new plan because I'm tired of the old plan. The reality is you may be tired of it, but people are still internalizing it and grabbing it. And the value in consistency is real important. We often find that sort of everybody's transitioning to the buzzword of the month, right? There's just massive value in a consistent, thoughtful plan and just executing day after day after day. And then a moment about your three Fs. Yeah, no, I, I uh, talked a little bit today about uh, the three Fs, you know, faith, family, and friends. One of the things I found, particularly in 2008, as the economy hit its downturn, it, there's a lot of people were coming to see me, and there wasn't all that much conversation around how am I going to grow my business, how am I going to do this. It was really about my life. And, you know, people had kind of hit rock bottom and were kind of re-examining things. And uh, I actually started integrating into, as I talked to people, and making sure that they're okay on their faith or their family and on their friends. And as a leader, I think we all have an obligation to talk to our coworkers about that and to help them find fulfillment in that way. Because we can help them find fulfillment in the job. They won't truly be fulfilled unless they're fulfilled there as well. Good. Greg, thanks for coming out. Thanks. Appreciate Good to see you.